Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make slow cooker apple cider. When apples are in season, I love making large batches of apple cider in my slow cooker. I freeze it so I can enjoy it all winter long. I'm going to show you how to make a basic apple cider recipe so you can alter it for any occasion. I like adding in a little bit of orange juice for an orange apple cider or even caramel and whipped cream for a caramel apple cider. It's really delicious. We're going to start out with eight gala apples. Now my method doesn't require any peeling of the apples, so I'm just going to cut it in half, cut it in half again, and then cut out the core and cut it so that it's in eight pieces for the apple. I'm going to do this with all eight of my apples. Now, don't worry if the apples brown a little bit while you're cutting them. It's totally okay. Once you have all eight apples cut up, we're going to transfer them all into a slow cooker. All in there. And then we're going to pour in 10 cups of cold water, which is a lot. You can really fill your slow cooker on this one. There's eight cups, another two, and that makes 10. Now, the idea behind this is that the apples will steep in the water and release all of their juices and flavor. We're gonna add in three more spices to give it that apple cider feel. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of whole cloves, a teaspoon of whole allspice, and then four cinnamon sticks. And I'll use the cinnamon sticks to kind of push those down in. And then I'm going to put the lid on and let this cook on high for three hours. After three hours, we're gonna take a masher and mash up all of those apples. Then we're gonna add in half a cup of brown sugar and let it cook for another three hours on high. The last thing we need to do is run this all through a strainer to remove all of the solids and leave nothing but our delicious apple cider. You can enjoy this apple cider right away or you can freeze it for later use like I do. Simply let it cool completely and then transfer it into freezer bags and pop it in the freezer. When you're ready to enjoy it, let it thaw and then you can warm it in a pot over the stove. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find more than 150 restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.